everyone. Welcome to Raising Vibrations with myself, Simon. Today, uh, guys, we're going to be, uh, well, I'm going to be starting a series on uh, the planetary archetype Neptune or Pisces or the 12th house within your astrology chart. So I'm going to be teaching a little bit about uh, the sign and how you can actually orientate yourself within um, the actual astrology itself. So if you're observing it. Um, so what we're going to be doing today is introducing Neptune uh, to, to the actual, the, how the archetype operates. And then uh, I'll be creating it through the houses. Okay, so what you would be basically doing is just taking this information, observing where your Neptune is, and then understanding that through wherever, which, whatever house placement it is. Okay. All right. So Neptune, what does it actually st uh, like represent within our consciousness? Okay. Um, I'll begin with a simple illustration of the nature of Neptune. Okay. Neptune is consciousness itself. Okay. Relative to how we observe it in nature, it is. Um, mutable form okay and the best description that we can observe it is is in a watery aspect okay it is the ocean because the ocean in itself is such a beautiful expression of consciousness that is flowing and very fluid so when you're looking at the Neptunian archetype when you're looking at the the Pisces archetype you're looking at everything completely and utterly unified okay so it relates to consciousness because consciousness in itself is unification. It is, it is the collective unity of everything. There is no separateness. Okay. So when we're observing consciousness and we're observing the ocean in itself, we observe the nature of how we as human beings experience and express who we are. Okay. So Neptune in your charts will, will teach you and show you where there is no, the, the illusion of separateness and how you are able to spiritually collect, in other words, to transcend the limitations on the 3D realm, to access higher dimensions that exist within our lives on a spiritual level. Now, there's two analogies that I want to show you over here, okay? Number one, how do you actually go about accessing that Neptunian field? Well, one, uh, Jeffrey Wolf Green, who is the teacher of, of the astrology that I work with, okay, shared this beautiful analogy of how Neptune works in terms of how you need to spiritualize your life. It's observed like this. You are in the middle of the ocean, okay? And you are on a boat. You're in a boat, a very small boat, like a, a paddle boat. And you have two oars, okay, and paddles. And you're completely and utterly lost at sea. There is no land to be seen. And the, the, the air and the, the, the environment around you is completely foggy. And the only thing that you have to actually navigate yourself to land in itself is by going so deep within yourself that you connect to a sense of complete and utter like intuitive knowing that you are able to develop your sensory perceptions to the point where you're able to go with the, fl the, the flowingness of the universe, the flowingness of consciousness. And it is through that connection do you find your way intuitively to the direction that you need to go in. Because as you are in this rowing boat looking around you not knowing where to go, the only way is within. And as you delve deeper into the nature of who you are, in other words, to access more of yourself, in other words, to transcend the, 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 the illusion of just living in the physical body, but to acknowledge the other dimensions and integrate them into your life, you use that by connecting to source, Neptune, to connect to source, source energy. And as you connect to that experience, you recognize and understand an intuitive feeling that allows you to do this. You put your feet into the currents and the currents allow you to be navigated to the direction that you need to go to. And so that process acknowledges surrendering yourself to something that is greater than who you are. So you are, in a sense, when going through a Neptunian transit, lost completely. And as you search inwardly, soul search, as you search inwardly within yourself and you connect to a deep, deep understanding of who you are and what your soul's mission is and, you know, your personal sense of, of value within the world. When I say value, I don't mean in terms of like buying a house. I'm talking about what you actually feel you are destined to do. When you connect to that space and you allow your feelers, your sensitivities to feel your way into the next direction, feel your way into the direction that is necessary for your life to go, not the one that has been conditioned on you, the Saturn, the physical, that you must do this, you must follow that, you must follow that. No. To acknowledge and understand life for what it really is, which is to feel into something, to tap into something, to tap into source, which is yourself. 
And as you do that, you integrate these knowings and intuitive feelings within your life and you navigate yourself to the land, which in a sense will lead you on that path. Now, ironically, with the story and with the Neptunian experience is that because it's so foggy and misty, okay, to, to know where you're actually going in itself is what makes it so difficult because you have to surrender and know that whatever journey you are going on relative to your soul's path, relative to your connection to your, your higher self and how you integrate that and you surrender to the ego, you surrender to your higher self and you, lie, and you align your ego, your physical body to be in line with that. So your ego is just something as a tool which is very important, by the way. Anything that reminds you that you need to get rid of the ego or it cannot be used is a lot of nonsense. And that's like the worst thing in the world, this new age stuff where you have to get rid of the ego. You can't. The ego is your physical body. It's what actually allows you to actualize your spiritual life on earth. It's your vehicle. So when you align yourself with your higher self and your soul's purpose by connecting with your Neptunian experience, then you walk the earth literally with that path. And so that's what the Neptunian experience in your chart will do. It will give you an understanding of how to spiritualize. Now, wherever you look in your charts, there will always be these repeating themes that will give you an indication of what it is that you would need to spiritualize through. So I will give you an example of my own chart. My Neptune is uh, in the 11th house and, um, you know, it's, it's opposed the moon and uh, South uh, Capricorn is ruling my 12th. Okay. And then therefore Saturn. So I've got to look to Saturn. So I have this Saturn in Scorpio and I have to access deeply within myself, my emotional nature. Okay. My, my Neptune opposed my moon in the 11th and 5th house is to trust because I, I live away from my family. Okay. 11th house, you're extended. I live away from my family in, in, in almost a different continent, literally. So when it comes to my Neptunian, I need to surrender to the fact that the, the idea of family does not just end at your brother, sister, and mother, but the community that you guys are connected to. In other words, me creating a community within the Astro School and the subscription base and talking to you guys over here and how you guys interact with me allows me to actually feel like I'm connected to things. The point I'm trying to make is, is that that 11th house Neptune teaches me that we, when you transcend the limitations of what has been defined as family and you recognize that family is, is more than what we have defined, we, I feel actually integrated. I feel part of a community as it's my own karma and I access that deep emotional self within me and I cleanse that. And that's what I'm talking about. I, I'm able to transcend the limitations of what I perceive to be a community in that way. And when I access that, I recognize my spiritual path. So Neptune in the chart will correlate to how you actually go about actualizing and, and recognizing your spiritual self, how you connect inwardly to source, and then how you define that. Okay. Another aspect that's correlating to Neptune will correlate to the illusions. Okay. So every single one of us will have our Neptunian illusions within our lives. And it is through constantly experiencing disillusionment, in other words, to know what is really there versus what we have projected into our reality. In other words, the ultimate meaning. When we when we get disillusioned by an experience, we wake up to it, we, we realize that what we were seeing wasn't really the truth. We become more aware of our spiritual selves through that disillusionment. The, the, the veil within our consciousness gets removed. And that's what the Neptunian experience is about as well, is that veil that exists within your consciousness that pierces a hole. And every single time you experience a disillusionment relative to your life, Okay, that that piece of that hole in that veil becomes a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger until you start to become awake spiritually. And it is through that process of constantly just being disillusioned, okay, in many experiences, knowing what you thought to be real and then recognizing it was completely not the case. That experience is also the Neptunian and you constantly go through that experience until you become fully, that veil becomes fully removed and you see reality for what it is in that sense. Um, Neptune, again, will correlate to the nature of everything and the totality of everything. So a great example of how I can do this is like you take the, the Saturn energy and which is a glass form, hold something in place and you take the water and you pour it into it. The water in itself goes into that glass and that glass gives it form, which then holds the water. So there, so consciousness is the water is the fluidity. It's the shape that moves everywhere, that it's not stay, it's not solidified until we solidify it. And it takes on the shape of whatever it is contained. So our bodies is the glass. Consciousness 
Neptune is the form is the water that goes into it. And so that's how we as human beings operate within our within our lives. Okay? So the Neptune will correlate to the nature of how that works. Now, one last thing that I wanted to introduce with Neptune as well is the nature of how we observe our reality and why there are certain people that have a certain evolutionary stage and a certain evolutionary understanding, a certain evolutionary experience. So the more you become awake to your Neptunian experiences and you develop and practice your spiritualness, in other words, to become more self-aware, in other words, to recognize source within you and then to understand that as you are experiencing that, as you understand that and you become more awake to it, it is like a bulb, okay, that has a hundred watts. But if the capacity or the consciousness development is only able to, uh, sorry, the other way around, I do apologize. The energy that is coming through the bulb, okay, is consciousness. But if the bulb can only have 30 watts and the energy is flowing at 100, then what comes out of that bulb is only the capacity of 30 watts. So people's consciousness in terms of the veils that they have on themselves relates to the bulb. The higher the bulb wattage, in other words, the higher your consciousness is, in that sense, the brighter and more you are able to understand of the nature of creation. So, again, like I say, simply with that is, is that if the bulb is only at 30 watts and it is then consciousness is moving through that, in other words, electricity, the bulb can only produce 30 watts. So the higher the wattage, in other words, the higher the awareness, the more you are able to access of source energy in that way. And so that's why we have certain people on certain planes. Some people are more awake and some people aren't. They are just developing through that Neptunian experience more of themselves, which will allow them to have more of those veils removed. Okay, fantastic, guys. So I really hope that that was super interesting and um, allowed you to get a really good understanding of the Neptune archetype. So what I'm going to be doing now is starting with a series. Now, I wanted to let you know that um, with my own astrology school in itself, I teach the whole of this experience, how this is actually functioning within your consciousness. So if you guys are interested in learning about astrology through my stuff, come over and check my website out, simonforster.com. And um, at the moment, I'm offering basically the first 10 people uh, for the, to, to actually purchase the school get a 25% discount um, at this stage. Okay? Fantastic, guys. Thank you so much for listening to me. And uh, as again, if you like this content, please share it, like it, and subscribe to this channel. Um, check out my subscription service on the monthly um, on the monthly uh, astrology that I'll be providing for you guys. And finally, uh, what was I going to say? No, that's it. Thanks very much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.